got cut off right at the middle of number 16 from page 247. Sorry about that, technical difficulties, but instead of going back and recording everything else, let's just do number 16 right now. All right, so looks really weird, looks complicated. I'm just gonna go left to right. Do I know the square root of nine? Yes, I do. All right, now I don't know the square root of w to the fifth. I could simplify it or whatever, but I'm gonna first, I'm gonna move it to a rational exponent. So remember, square root is a two in the root. So the five is the numerator, the two is the denominator. Minus, all right, there's a w. And then there's another w cubed, the square root of that though, so I'm gonna turn that into w to the three over two. All right, now I'm gonna see if I have like like terms. I don't think I can do anything here, but I have a w times a w to the three halves. So I have the same base and I'm multiplying those bases so I can add the exponents. So this is really a one, but that one doesn't help because this is a fraction. I could say it's two over two. And I can add 2 over 2 plus 3 over 2. So I have w to the 5 over 2. Well, now it looks like I have like terms. I have, think of it just like 3x minus x. I have 3 w's to the 5 halves. Take away 1 w to the 5 halves. Well, 3 of them minus 1 of them, I'm going to be left over with 2 w's to the 5 halves. And that's my answer. So simplifying when possible, converting to a rational exponent, in this case, helped. All right, so go ahead and try number 13 on page 247 and number 57 on page 249 and see what rules you're gonna use for those. Don't forget, you can check your answer to the back of the book. You can have uh, videos for number 13 on the student ebook. And of course, come to class ready with questions.